Hello everyone, this is Zach from User. Today we are going to talk about automating workflows with two-factor authentication. And this is one of the hard problems for workflows. If you have especially apps which has like two-factor authentication and which you cannot enable that, this is pretty hard in all the automation world. But we are going to solve this problem with user and apps which I'm going to talk about right now. In enterprise grade automation workflows, what we usually do is we create an additional API to retrieve the OTP one time password using the API. This is one way. Or another way is we sometimes assign some static values for OTP. And then for that way, you just enter some number all the time, the same number, and it's, it works. But if that is not possible in your case, uh, what you need to do is you just like really need to open your phone, get the number, get the password and use that on your automation on your PC. So right now we are going to do that. The requirements for that is we are going to apply this automation with Windows PC plus Android mobile phone. Uh, this might work in some cases for Mac and iOS setup, but with some limitations. If you need to solve that for Mac or Apple ecosystem, let me know so I can create a separate video for that. And we also need to install Wiser app to mirror our phone and to control our phone from the PC. Then we are going to connect our phone to PC and try to get the verification code from SMS and the Google Authenticator. So let's start. Let me close it. So right now let's set up the Wiser. When you install the Wiser for both for your uh, PC and then your mobile phone, there are a couple of steps you need to apply which are explained here and you need to follow those steps. It's going to take somewhere around like two, three minutes. After that, you should be able to uh, log into your device. Right now, I just click play and here is my screen. I'm just going to unlock my phone. And then I will go to SMS first. I just create some dummy verification code here. My purpose right now is that I'm just like trying to get the uh, verification code on the screen. The important part here is that this uh, screen should always be visible. As in user, uh, what we are doing is we just like use complete screenshot here to be able to uh, create automations. So make sure that the visor is always on and visible on the screen. So how we are going to get the number is actually pretty easy. We are going to use an AI action called ask user here. What we are going to say is just like Return, return me the verification code on the screen. It's going to return the verification code and assign it to response. But the important thing here is just like you need to go to options and you need to attach screenshot prompt. So to make sure that the screenshot is sent to AI. Great. Okay, so like my phone is locks i just need to unlock one more time if you need to do it for a longer time make sure that you uh, set your mobile phone so that it will not lock by itself so we should be okay actually i'm going to add two more additional steps just to be sure that like i want to confirm that the response is retrieved correctly for that reason i will write the response somewhere on the top there are a couple of tricks i apply for that what i do is I first of all move my cursor to the URL bar with the shortcuts. There's a shortcut in Windows. It is Ctrl L, which brings your cursor to the browser. Let me make sure I will run this. It moves my cursor on the top. That's what I'm expecting. And then I'm going to write the response which I retrieved from the ask user step response great now it should be good i will unlock my phone one more time and then i will run the step it says i can't assist with that interesting why i will just like change the prompt on the screenshot i will say
okay here is the verification codes which is like received from here that's great for the sms there are a couple of different ways to get the sms to your pc rather than directly connecting but like i will not touch those topics now what we are going to do is we are going to try to get the code from the google authenticator app actually it's pretty hard to do it in google authenticator because for some security reasons for security reasons google just like blocks you to see that authenticator app on your pc it's not possible to see it however we are going to use some trick here the trick here is that like whenever you click something on the page and then it's actually you can still control the ui right now for example i can scroll up and down in the google authenticator app even if you are not able to see it on the pc i can see on my mobile phone here right 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 with me that i am able to control it so what i'm going to do is i will just like uh, by trial and error i will just like click a couple of places here because when i click some place i can see that the code is copied to my clipboard actually i can still i, I also see that uh, this notification here so right now that like um, I'm just checking my screen. I'm just like thinking that yes, here is a good place. I'm uh, confirming from my mobile phone. I see that here is a good place for me to click, and I will get the coordinates of this place, which is uh, 1701 to 195. So I'm just like going to click that exact location each time I need a password. This is the only way to get the password from Google Authenticator. What was the number? Let's see somewhere here. 17 to 170, let's see. Let me test this step. Okay. That works. This is the code which I need. Great. And then I have the code on my clipboard. I can either like use some shortcuts to paste it, like Control V, or some another way is just like I can save the clipboard to a variable, and then I can use this like response to whenever I need that OTP. And that's that's the way you can automate workflows with two-factor authentications which uh, together with your mobile phone hope that's helpful uh, please let me know if you have any other questions on that, that topic because it's a pretty complex and can change in different situations um, thanks for watching we'll see you later